Hello guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Crashlands. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thanks so much for the amazing support on the Crashlands series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Cutie Patootie, I just noticed, has four ears. And she's wiggling <laughs> It's kind of crazy. We've been having some fun with our new Glitopus buddy. And I've actually been collecting a little bit of resources offhand. Well, offline, I guess I should say. So there's a couple other types of potions I can make. I can make anti-venom. I can make elixirs of longevity. I think I'm going to build like a little bit of this just like one a piece for situational uses maybe right before i fight a boss or something like that uh, i'm not gonna make any luminescence because that's just making <laughs> you glow or whatever and i don't think that's a real real that's a real hard thing to to do here i can make a couple more of these potions and i can also make some speed potions which i really really want to make i got a lot of uh been collecting a lot of wood to be able to do this specifically along with some stony health pots uh we already said that was luminescence we're gonna build some of these as well uh and we already have one of these anger omelets so i'm gonna go ahead and build that heck we might as well build one more of these and one more of these and i think we should be good like in all fronts everything is going to be taken care of let me grab a couple of these uh and we should have some stuff to go so as far as gathering wood is concerned a bunch of you guys were like z you really 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 need to make these wooden signs and i didn't i didn't know anything about them to tell you the truth but it appears that you can make wooden writable signs and for instance now that we have some speed potions brewed up let's do some marking here or i'll show you what it's like when i when i mark stuff so let's go to the map and you'll see that I have a sign that says one hit harvest right here. And that means, you guessed it, there is a one hit harvest shrine right here. So I know there's also some speed shrines around here, but I'm not real sure where they are. But we will be looking for shrines and marking them as we go. Because I have like nine more signs in my inventory. But if we go to this spot right here, let's go north of here a little bit and get one hit harvest and i'll show you guys how nice this is so now that we have speed potions we really don't need them in combination uh we can just basically go at it and this is it's probably not as efficient as farming but you can't do an infinite amount of it due to the fact that you need seeds and you only get that from them in the wild here's the sign one hit harvest and when you click on it you have a different a uh, few different things that you could do icon added to map label so if i go to uh the map again you'll see that there is oh it's just an icon maybe Oh, you know what? It's either label or that. So we're going to go with one hit harvest again. I see. I thought you can add multiple. Hit harvest. Very, very good. So now the sign is there. And as you can see, one hit harvest. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit my speed boost here. And we can start. Gra oh, what the heck? Dang, he scares me so bad all the time when he comes out. So we can just go around grabbing these things, hyperspeed like, getting a bunch of wood very, very quickly. And this, my friends, is one of the best ways to get resources that I've found. I didn't even mean to hit that old Whoppet. We'll use one more speed potion, even though it's going to last longer than our actual buff. But it's so nice to be able to get stuff like this. We'll even do grass just because it's along the way and it only takes a fraction of a second. So stone and all of that stuff is going to be really good for that squeeze. And I think it's just about over. I think our buff is just about over. Uh, actually, we got a little bit more, it looks like. All right. And that's probably enough resources for now. I hate to just use another yeah now i saw i saw when the buff ended it's actually right underneath my health bar right there okay so now that we got all of that situation we know where to go we're gonna grab these just because they're there and i don't need if i, I don't know if i'll need any more bump berries so another thing that i got i did a little bit of farming for some turtles uh which are those um those black creatures around the tar pits so let's go and visit uh i can use the home icon just to go right to my spaceship and 
Let's visit the the fish the fishimania or whatever it's called and check it out. Turtle incubator. So this is going to allow me to have a turtle, a pet turtle. Uh, we had to get some more of these, so I did get some more of those. And there's also some sort of grindy grounder. One foot on the ground and the other on the ground that grants 20% electric damage resistance. And we do have 11 left for this, so that just happens to be perfect. It's going to take a little while to make this one, but we'll have enough to really mess around with this incubator and get some pet stuff going on. Um, as far as some of the other things that I'm going to need, I'm not sure what. The turtle barrel just is enough to embiggen a turtle. And for that, we're going to need filthy turtle essence, which we don't have any of. Uh, and I pressed the wrong back key. Let me go ahead and grab that. Um, and we're going to need these, which are turtle tongues. So not too bad to get that. We have everything else that we're going to need. The filthy turtle essence, I think that we're going to need some larger of the turtles or whatever. And we naturally want to embiggen that guy because it's going to be real good. Uh, as far as the giant helm, somebody said that you need to fight a boss to get that big uh, tusk, that big set of tusk. And for this stuff, for the flamethrower, you actually need to milk a turtle so there's some things that we can get in order to uh in order to get that or whatever i'm not too sure what this is oh i didn't mean to do that i did not mean to do that um build anyway <laughs> that'll be done sooner or later i didn't mean to do that at all all right let me grab all of these potions i'm glad i don't have any like limited inventory to manage because that would have been tough we'll fish right here just so we can let this thing respawn i haven't been taking a whole lot of time with it i've just been basically getting some ingredients i haven't caught anything super super rare lately even if i do wait for the large ones so basically when i see anything medium size like these or something like that i usually just grab them up especially when i could grab two or three and I should be able to grab three right there. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, that was enough for me. And now it's going to be two hours before it respawns. But that's okay. And we can actually make some more to have um, to have different fishing holes and stuff and clear out all this water. So not a big deal. Anyway, there's a couple quests that we can take care of. So if we go to the quest, I know that the... Um, let's see. From the depth, stealing the beakler. Uh, just talk to me once you've constructed it. Let's see. Hugo is a power-hungry megalomaniac, megalomaniac. Flux, there's no upper limit to his needs. If he injects poison automatically on striking. Okay, so that's to get that new poison weapon. Uh, this is Grandmammy's deal. Hugo's supply caches to find a dish maker. This is for the story to keep it going. Um, this is repentance. Let's see. I knew Marla was listening. This is important to me again. Please, Flux, pl just plant eight log trees around Power Pole. I thought I did that. Um, once they sprout into full-grown log trees, then maybe she'll uh, take my pious seriousness. So, Dern, I don't know where we have to go with this. Back to Morla. I really don't know where we'd have to go. I'm pretty sure this was at... Was it Power Pole? This might be... It might be at Power Pole. Let's take a look here. Oh, that uh, accessory is done. Nice, and that should have equipped, am I right? It sure did. Cool, cool, now we have some electricity resistance. Very nice. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the map and go to Power Pole. And Dern should be there, and that should be a quest turn in there. Yeah, it sure is. I planted one in the doorway. There we go. This pleases me, Dernt. Morla, I throw myself on your flowery roots. <laughs> oh, shoots. Burl is gone, lasered in the face by a big old floaty head, and I don't know what to do. Voice of Morla. Don't worry, seedling. Burl lives on within my foliage. Your purpose is only now unfolding. Do you recall the vision? Why? Oh, yes. While I stared into the crystal, I saw a shrine, a place of sanctity. It is for you to create, Dernt. Head north until you find flat stone cracked by my roots. There you will find my purpose. Hey, Marla, not to question your greatness, but won't that be dangerous journey for, me, for a lone tendrum? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention, sometimes I forget my children aren't omnipotent. Flux, would you mind scouting it out and handling whatever beasts have overrun it? 
Sure. <laughs> I just knew this was going to fall on us. <laughs> All right. So we do have a new quest, Finding the Shrine now. Is this actually on our map? Head north until you find the flat stone cracked by my roots. There you will find purpose. Okay. And I don't see any flat stone at all yet. There's a flat stone there. <gasps> Aha! This is it. Dang, man. I guess these are the bad guys that I have to kill. It's so nice having this super armor and weapons. Beautiful. Looks like that's all of them. Better get back to Durned. Haha, -ha, you can't be serious. <laughs> Am I hearing voices again or is that real? Oh, I'm real all right. And I don't appreciate you helping Morla's followers. You should all follow in my sporific cloud, the cloud of Barry. Yeah, whatever voice in the sky. We're just helping out a friend. You dare insert yourselves in this war, newcomers? Ha ha ho ho That was weird. Let's get back to Dern at Power Pole and let her know what happened. All right. Schematic, kite and floor. Uh-huh. So there's nothing that I can do with that there. But that's kind of some weird uh, updates there, right? Uh, let's go back to Power Pole. Was this one big force? Like, they lead me on a wild goose chase here? I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Some sort of war between everybody? Hey, Dern, the shrine's all clear. It should be safe for you to head over now. Oh, thank you. You didn't see any omens on the way, did you? Any messages from Marla? No, but something called Barry tried to scare us off. It was just a formless voice, though, so who cares? Barry, my purpose must be more momentous than I thought. I'm heading to the shrine now. Think I'll call it Marla Paul. Don't... <laughs> wait. Won't be needing any of my worldly possessions, so here, you can do more with this stuff than I could. What? I don't understand. I really don't, I really don't understand. Um, you just took, did you just give me all the resources? Is that what you did? Oh, those are fertile. I could actually take those and build out of them, huh? I think I can. No, that's not what I wanted. Floor. Yeah, I can get back my fertile dirt. Uh oh, there's something there. A tree. That's cool. <laughs> I got back my dirt. Give me my dirt back. Nice. Okay, so I don't understand though. Like, what exactly? I guess the quest will change again? Now that there's no power pole, there'll just be Morla pole or something? Let's check the map one more time and go to it and see what happens. I'm very curious here. Okay. Them shrines be so good. And he doesn't say anything. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Huh. Well. I'm really not too sure what the next step is here, you guys. There's a couple quests that we can do. Let's go to the explosive, uh, the supply cache again. That'll be, that'll be better, I think. All right, supply cache. It looks like we could just go right in here, huh? Uh, or we can just build our way right in, <laughs> which is going to be easy sauce. Um, let's see here. Floor. Yep, that was pretty darn easy. Wow. So easy. Okay, let's get this. Is that a thing to get? No, apparently not. Am I going to need a fight? It does look like it. Uh-huh. Tentacle! <laughs> All right. We got a supply crate. There's one to the left, which is like a glow bug. Should not be hard. A little bit of poison damage, but nothing. These guys are really, really easy. Really easy. And one more. A Glitopus. Matriarch. Perfect. 
perfect. We didn't even need to try hard to get that. Okay, we got three supply crates out of three supply crates. I think we should just be able to get home now. Man, that was easy as heck. Okay, let's go to Grandmammy's. And... Here we go. That'll make them hurt. Now, where can we get that dish? Right, well, attention, I'm hearing whispers that a small Tendrum village is being overrun by turtles. Turtles? Those mortal launching creatures are lethal? Surely Hugo Duco is behind the Grandmammy. It happens to be the village run by the Tendrum called Bornibus. Bornibus? Fate is strange. Flowery Bornibus might know where you can get your dish. Indeed, Bornibus engineering skills aren't matched anywhere on the savanna. He might be the only one with the knowledge you seek. Quit yammering and show us where the village is. Yes, sir. Get to Borna Pool and take out all the turtles you can find. Then talk to Bornibus. Well, that's pretty cool. That we're going to need to get turtles anyway. Let me grab some of your bacon weed, Grandmammy, while I'm here. And aside from that, we've already did that quest. There was another one. Let's look at it. The Explosives Labs. There's also Marlapole and Beaker Facility. Uh, Borna Pole is l over here. It looks like it's going to be a harder area. Let's go to the Explosive Labs and pour the coals to it as well. All right. By the way, we can kill these Womp Lords now. It's kind of hard, but they it can be done. Okay, was there any place closer than that? No, we should be there soon, though. It shouldn't be that bad. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in there, too. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. I don't know how much damage I can take from there. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I think, is just... Oh, I didn't mean to... Oh, well, I'm just going to go in. Just going to go in. Dang, man. Ha! <laughs> Destruction! Terror and mayhem. You should throw those slightly further away from the rescue next time, you maniac. Mutters, good thing I've got this defensive bubble technique down, re reckless humans. Someone's got a lack of appreciation. He wait, he does look a little crispy, but hey, let's talk. Let's tell Flack how, how well these worked. All right, so apparently there was some sort of something that we missed. It might have been part of the quest here that we used that thing. I don't know. It's so weird. Some of the quest logs are a little bit hard to... Yeah, he won't do nothing if you just talk to him. Okay, maybe it was the bombs that we threw in to get in or whatever. That was part of it. Even though I just kind of stomped them with my... I stomped their face with my, my weapon. Okay. Now, let's see. So, we got that done. What was the next one? Beaker facility? Let's head toward the beaker facility. So after looking over the quest, you guys, it looks like the key is stashed on the eastern edge of the outpost. It's something that I failed to read earlier. So there's the key in plain sight. I know you guys were probably screaming at me. Bam, we got the key. Now that we can go in and get that chest. Door, there we go. And we crit him, no problem. Four more Wampet Bulls, or three more, I should say. Still got so much HP. I don't even have to worry about that. They don't even poison me. Nice. All right, schematic Beekler. And now we can actually go back to Grandmammy's. Sweet. All right, let's talk to old boy and see what he says. Apply pressure to the wound. If that doesn't work, apply wounds to your enemies. it <laughs> make you feel better. Oh, wait. No, it's this guy. Flack, the firecrackers worked great. Oh, that's that's what we threw at that guy. The bombs were also scoo scoo, and the wampets were all fire. We're dead. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Sounds like a perfect field test. Move into full production, Flux. And if you don't mind, I have another idea. I've always got loved explosions ever since there was a weak quadruplay. Search for the licks and sodium to bring to water. But I've always wondered, what if we could use an explosion of choking agents, something that didn't burn but poison? Like a poison bomb? Exactly, talk box. You could then technically catch something on fire and poison it. Amazing, right? Sounds plenty deadly. 
The glitterflies that roam these parts have quite a toxic poison to their abdomens. If they could just study one. Flux, you could try to domesticate one. For science, Flux, raise a glitterfly of your own and let me inspect it. And I think it will hold the key. I already got that stuff, actually. I already got the glitterfly set up. Okay, so now that we got firecrackers, that's what we used to get into that first outpost there. Uh, now, where was the quest to go to the next place? Um... Crafty, not explosive PHC for science. Flux raise the glitter. Okay, we already know that. Stealing the beakler. Just talk to me once you've constructed it. And this guy is Jack. So I guess Jack. Yeah. How's that break-in coming? I I got it. What in the world? Guys, it actually wasn't Grandmammy's. It was, <laughs> we had to craft it before we went to Grandmammy's. And the recipe was in the Kim station. I just crafted it. Uh, well, I am crafting it. You needed, I think, like, uh, it says, with the right amount of poison, you can overcome just about anything. Grants 10% chance to poison enemies on melee attacks, which is very, very cool. That's an accessory. So now we should be able to go to Grandmammy's and speak to old boy. There he is. Now the quest icon has popped up. One beakler, quite complex on the inside, and man, is it murderous. Jack just turns the trinket over in his tentacle hands. Amazing work. I'll pass the recipe on to my agents. You should. This should help immensely. Oh, and Flux, <laughs> though you are a stiff limbs, I'm making you an agent of the fifth arm. May you reach... <laughs> wait, may you reach from the depths? Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. So we got Stealing the Beakler complete. Now, I think the only other quest that we have is that little um, Huff and Puff for the explosives. That's going to be quite a bit west, was it? I don't know. We'll find out next time we come back, guys. But anyway, sorry the episode was so confusing, but I think I got it figured out now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button and show your support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uldin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Tell me there is a bunch of pearls in here. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Now, you see? Now I'm doing it right, ladies and gentlemen.